hello guys welcome back to the channel mr play color right here today i'm excited because we are discussing pricing pricing i just want to share with you guys some quick tips that will help you to price if you are especially getting started in the photography industry if you've been in the industry for some time maybe things are okay for you but maybe you will as well pick one or two things to take away Yeah, so the big question usually when someone is starting is how much should I price my work? How much should people uh, hire me for, you know? So we just want to dive into this a little bit and understand. Uh, the thing that I usually say is if you are a photographer, you are like a musician. We have different styles, we have different niches, so we all do not give the same product, yeah? There's no one size fits all. That's why we have wedding photographers, portrait photographers, sports photographers, documentary, and so on and so forth. So the first thing you've got to do is understand your market, understand your target audience. Who are you producing these photos for? Are you a wedding photographer? So if you figure out that, you know what, uh, I am a wedding photographer, then you need to, uh, first of all, check around and see other photographers in your area. Find out how much they're charging. But also, a general rule of thumb is you need to compare yourself with people that you think, okay, this one we have maybe a similar kind of work, you know so you have an idea of how much they are pricing and that is a good place for you to start so the very first tip is understand your uh, target audience know who you're shooting for if you're into weddings or if you're into like photo shoots no more you know outdoor pot, uh, photo shoots or indoor photo shoots uh, and then connect with a photographer who already is doing the same and try to find out how much they are pricing and not just one photographer but also um, have a number of them so that you have a, a good place to start uh, but i need to also mention that uh, you need to find a comfortable price that you charge uh, you do not have to necessarily copy someone else's pricing you could either take it a little higher or a little lower depending okay on your situation yeah that is number one so the other factor that could help you set your price is uh factors of production costs involved in how you produce your work for example you may not own cameras but you might want to uh you know find a client and give them a price so the first thing for you to do is understand how much you are going to spend on renting gear on paying your uh, your team your editors you know um yeah and also producing the prints if it's part of the package so that means if you understand the price you're going to spend then you can actually add in your uh, profit uh, the other thing is you need to understand uh, uh, the taxes and how the taxes work many photographers here in uganda uh, do not know about these things of taxes and maybe some of them don't even bother paying taxes but um, you have to put all this in consideration some of you you will get opportunities where you're going to shoot for maybe government organizations or private organizations which require uh, certain standards you know uh, they require you to maybe uh, have clearance uh, tax clearance uh, all these kind of uh, requirements so that means whenever you're pricing you need to put in mind all this the tax um, and, and everything that involves uh, you know that so that's something for you to keep in mind so that as you're setting your price you're very well aware of the of the um, the costs which are going off onto taxes onto the expenses because you need to make a profit at the end of the day so yeah that is something that you really, really have to consider. 
Now, the other thing that I need to throw more light on is your audience. So let's take an example. Uh, I'm a photographer here in Kampala. Kampala is the capital of Uganda and therefore uh, most of the time everything here in Kampala is the top. Yeah, It's where you find the premium everything. So it means the prices in Kampala are different from other regions. If you are a photographer in Gulu, in Soroti, in Arua, or other parts of Uganda, your price may actually uh, be different from someone in Kampala. So do not exactly compare yourself from, uh, you know, with, with, a, with a photographer who is in Kampala. Yeah, so it means you need to understand are, are the clients in Arua are willing to pay a certain amount for that service? Are they willing? Because it's not just about you setting your price and you know being uh, rigid about it. You need to understand the community where you live. You need to to understand that these people are able to pay this amount of money for this service so that's that's really really important so you guys my conclusion on this matter is we are all different we have different styles we have different uh you know we have different tastes we have different ideas and we have different experiences so there's no one size fits all kind of pricing there's no standard kind of pricing everyone has their specific price uh, based on their knowledge, based on their skill set, based on the tools they use, based on, you know, all these other uh, factors. So if you're just starting out, you need to get involved, uh, learn your craft, improve your work. One thing I can promise you, if people love your work, they will be able to pay a lot more uh, for that work. If people uh, are attracted to your brand, yeah, people are willing to pay. I have a friend um, here in Kampala. Uh, he's called Makula Pictures. He His pricing is different from some other photographers. And people are willing to pay him. He's booked year in, year out. Yeah, uh, Because he has a certain style that is attractive to so many clients. So he is quite on demand. Yeah. So my encouragement to you out there is work on yourself, work on your personal brand. How do you dress? How do you look? How do you speak to clients? How responsive are you, um, you know, when it comes to time, timekeeping, you know, responsibility. All these are very important things that contribute to the pricing at the end of the day because clients are willing to pay more for what seems of value to them don't forget that so i'll be seeing you guys in the next video please if you're new here consider subscribing like this video if you've enjoyed it yeah and uh, help me to share it so you know many people can benefit from it otherwise Thank you and I'll be seeing you in the next one.